So guys, do you have any idea why they are called fins? Are feather-footed burning animals? Any idea? Do they have feathers? Well, let's ask them. Hey ladies, do you have feathers? The answer is no. It's actually because of their front feathers, which are shaped like a bird's mane. You see those? The term finifex can also be translated as wing-footed, since their flippers do look somewhat like wings. In fact, they appear to be flying underwater as they swim from place to place. Right, ladies? Exactly. And you know, they are often mistaken as seals because they look very much alike. But some differences between a seal and a sea lion is the fact that they have bigger front flippers. And they can also turn their back, the first something seals cannot do. As a result, they can walk upright while on land. And there it is, that is a funny demonstration. Have a round of applause, please, for our beginning camera. And you know, they, so they also have this long and flexible neck. How flexible? Well, check this out. <laughs> So flexible, and this is that they deserve another round of applause. As you can see, their body is covered with a thin coat of short, coarse hair. And their whiskers help the sea lion's sense of touch. They can taste their, they can taste their fibers, which make them sensitive. Nice smile! Hey! They may also use their whiskers to aid in navigation or to detect vibrations from prey in the water. And their small external ears give them a good sense of hearing both above and below the surface of the water. Sea lions, like many marine mammals, can see well both above and underwater. They have keen eyesight but no color vision. In the wild, they inhabit waters close to shores flat rocky cliffs with tide pools, and they have a preference for rocky beaches. They have excellent climbing abilities and can easily scale rocky cliffs. Well, check that out. Surely strong front for the birds. Now let's talk about their swimming abilities and let's start with Ira. While their back flippers are stretched out behind their, behind their bodies, functioning as rudders for steering. And that is their normal swim. <laughs> nice and easy. Thank you, Ira. Alright, by the way, chasing their prey or escaping from predators, they can achieve a first speed of up to 25 miles. about the sea lions. Did you know that the U.S. Navy has trained a few of them to take part in their special operations? Yep, that's right. They are able to hold their breath for up to 20 minutes. And they can dive hundreds of feet. Abilities that even the best Navy diver would be envious of. And since they cannot be detected by radar underwater, they are taught to recognize and avoid underwater mines. <laughs> This time. Could you please join our sea lion friends in a salute? In the count of three, everybody please salute and let's make this one loud. All right, are you ready? Yeah. I don't think so. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's start counting. One. recover equipment from the water.
You know what folks here at Vanilla Ocean? Oh. Trainer Owen wants Ira to tap me what does she want? Bitch. Okay. As I was saying, here at the Ocean Park, we have six South American sea lions. Trainer Irwin, she's tapping you again. Maybe she wants to say something? Oh, tell us, Ira. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What was that? We are not just done, and why? There's one more missing object. Are you sure, Ira? Yes. All right, let's ask Yeni. Hey, Yeni, is there one more? <laughs> Let's ask the audience. Hey guys, is there one more? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes! Look at me, you are so sad. What are you doing, Ira? Cut that out! <laughs> Alright, there is one more missing object. Could you please tell Yemi what it is? It's a... A what? A gun. Are they right, Ira? Well, then I think it's a mission for us to search for the this toy gun. Let's go! Was that? She found it and I'll prove it to us. But do you think any that she found the gun? You don't think so, huh? Well, let's 